You guys saw the title, you guys saw the thumbnail, you guys know you're going to learn how to clap some sword swimmers today. Now, frankly, sword swimmers have evolved to the point which, uh, they're kind of unbeatable. Like, if you have somebody that remotely knows at least a little bit on what, how to use the sword and that stuff, uh, you're not going to win the fight. Like, seriously, you're just not going to win it, and especially if you're not super experienced in double gunning. There's a lot of stuff that people actually don't know about double gunning. However, with this video, you guys should learn a lot about double gunning, and hopefully we'll be able to beat the sword swimmers and that stuff. And, uh, yeah, before we get into the tutorial and that stuff, um, please hit the like button down below. It helps people find this video a little bit more, and it really, really helps out the channel quite a lot. And also, please subscribe if you're new around here. I make a lot of combat tips and tricks, and I also make quite a bit of soloing guides and that stuff. And uh, comment down below, what is your favorite set in Sea of Thieves? It could be something with the sword, I don't care. I, I, I personally, my favorite set is um, Pistol Sniper. However, right now I'm rocking the Sniper and the Blunder. That's what I main right now. It's my favorite set. And uh, yeah, not further ado, let's get into the video. So when double gunning, you have to have a specific mindset when using this type of combat. Frankly, you need to treat the sword as a one-shot. Frankly, the reason why is because if you get slashed once, you can't move. You can't do anything, and by the time you reload your gun, you're dead because, well, if as soon as a 3-hit combo is done, 75% of your health is gone. And then they can just slash you once by the range of the sword, or if they get a backtrack on you, which isn't hard at all. Or, frankly, they just sprint towards you and slash you once. It's not hard for a sword swimmer to beat you, and you need to treat the sword as a one-shot. And there's some sets which are very, I guess forgiving when it comes to getting slashed once by the sword. However, there's some sets that are very punishing, such as the sniper and the pistol. Sniper and pistol should not be used on close range combat at all. You should be using this in a TDM, island combat, like a big island combat, like uh, an outpost or like a bigger island like Crook's Hollow. You shouldn't be using this on a fort or a um, small island or on a ship. You should be using it in water combat or big island combat. And the reason for that is, as soon as somebody slashes you once, like I said earlier, you're as good as dead. So the sets that I recommend you guys using is Blunder and Sniper and Blunder and Pistol. So right now I'll be playing for you guys a clip right now of showing you guys uh, how to beat a Sword Swimmer in a very efficient way. Now as you'll see, I Blunder sniped him, then I quick switched to my Sniper, and then I shot him. Now, frankly, if you want to learn a little bit more about quick switching, I won't go over that in this tutorial. Um, I made a whole entire tutorial on how to double gun if you guys want to check out that tutorial. There's some things which I forgot to mention, such as quick scoping, which I'll mention in this tutorial. But that tutorial has almost everything you need to know for double gunning. So I recommend watching that video after you're done with this video or just watch it um, before going on with the rest of this video. So frankly, as you saw that I blunder sniped him um a lot of people are like oh blunder sniping and no skill uh you should have went for the one blunder uh yes and um no frankly the reason why i don't go for one blunders right now unless if it's uh me boarding and there's one person at the wheel and then i go for one blunder the reason for that is sometimes the blunder just doesn't deal any knockback and sometimes all the pellets just don't bloody register now if most of the pellets register however from that distance um, let's say it went took them down to 50 HP. If it's 50 HP, one sniper shot is perfect. Now, let's say if that sniper shot didn't register. I'm a decent enough distance away from them that I can run away. Like I said earlier, treat the sword as if it's a one shot. So I have enough distance between me and the sword spammer where I can just run away. If that sniper shot did not register, well, I would have just been able to jump overboard. And then I should have been perfectly fine unless if he used one of those... Uh, turtleneck sweaters that will just jump in the water. I, I should be perfectly fine. However, like, you gotta keep distance between you and the, the sword spammer. You need to not get too close to them. If you're going for one blunder, um, it's a risky move because of hit registration and also the knockback glitches that we've been getting recently. Um, if you knock them back, quickly quick switch to your sniper and then shoot them. That's all you need to do. For the pistol, however, it's a little bit harder. For the pistol and blunder sets, you need to blunder them and get most of their HP down with the blunder and then shoot them with the pistol by hip firing or quick switching and iron sighting and that stuff. Frankly, pistol and blunder, if you're new to double gunning, use this set. This set is perfect if you're new to this combat style and that stuff. Use that set. It's a very useful. In that situation, I would have went for a one blunder and then switched to the, my pistol and then hip fired it. But the pistol has the worst hit registration, so the likely chance of me actually getting a shot on them with my trash ping 
is very unlikely. So yeah, those are the two sets that I recommend using. Now we'll be going over some gun mechanics and that stuff and how to quick scope. So quick scoping isn't actually that hard to pull off. Frankly, all you need to do is right click, right click again, hold, and then shoot. Um, I'll be playing a clip for you guys right now of me skinning somebody. As you'll see, I blundered him off. And then I quickly went into iron sight, stopped holding iron sight, well, right click, sorry. And then I went down in iron sight again, then I shot, and then I killed him. It's a really quick way to quick scope, um, unlike the normal way where you just hold down right click and then you scope in. This will cancel a little bit of the animation, making it slightly quicker for you to get a quick shot on somebody. And saving as much time as possible to um, defeat somebody. If you're doing a 1v4, or if you're trying to take down a server alliance, it's going to be really helpful using those quick scopes. Just to take down like 3 people, 4 people, 5 people even. It's going to be significantly, significantly, significantly helpful when it comes to beating a lot of people. So guys, for the last part of this guide, I'll be going over wallbanging spots and every single wallbanging spot that I know of. If you guys know of any other wallbanging spots that I did not mention, uh, please comment them down below. Like, I honestly like to know if there's any other wallbanging spots, other secret wallbanging spots that I don't know of. So frankly, there's going to be some clips in the background which um, are going to be examples for wallbanging. If you guys don't know what wallbanging is, it means you can shoot somebody through the wall and it will cause damage and it will register and that stuff. So frankly... There are two spots that I know of on the sloop. There is the one by the stairs leading to the brig, and then there is one to the stairs leading up to the wheel. I, I, I can't speak today. So frankly, if there's any other ones for the sloop, please comment them down below, guys. Um, I'd like to know about that. And now for the brigantine. The brigantine, there is the, the brig. You can actually shoot somebody through the brig there. You can also shoot somebody by the stairs leading up to the top deck and that stuff. For the galleon, all I know for right now is the brig that's the only place that i know of for wall banes right now um if you guys know of any more please comment them down below i honestly would like to know so those are all the tips and tricks that i have for you today guys i hope you guys found the video helpful if you did please hit the like button down below it helps out the channel out quite a lot and please subscribe if you're new around here and click that bell if you guys never want to miss one of these tutorials i make a lot of see at these tutorials i make a lot about pvp and how to solo and that stuff and uh yeah please comment down below if i've missed any wall banings and if I uh, missed some tips and tricks that you guys would like me to uh, go over and that stuff. And if you guys have any other questions, please comment them down below. I hopefully we'll be able to respond to you guys. And uh, please share this video with your friends that are new. It really does help out the channel quite a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll see you dudes in the next video.